Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today's topic is very important if you're a woman and it's about high blood pressure and the fact that high blood pressure kills more women than men. Now, most people think that heart conditions and high blood pressure is more of a man's problem, but it's actually the opposite. In fact, high blood pressure affects more women than men. In fact, did you know that if you're a woman, aside from smoking, your biggest risk factor for having heart problems is actually high blood pressure? And this is because women have smaller blood vessels in the heart, making them more vulnerable to high blood pressure and inflammation of the blood vessels. In fact, the statistics are startling in that high blood pressure affects one in four women and kills significantly more women than men. In fact, 59% of women compared to 44% of hypertensive men. And this is according to the American Heart Association's 2016 statistics. Now, by the way, your goal for healthy blood pressure levels should be 120 over 80 or lower. Okay, so what causes high blood pressure in women? There's a few things, but the primary ones are, first of all, pregnancy. The increased blood volume required to nurture a growing fetus can potentially raise blood pressure to extremely high levels. And for this reason, expectant mothers should have their blood pressure readings taken often. Also, hypertension can develop rapidly in the last three months of pregnancy. And when this happens, a woman may need treatment even after delivery. The second problem that causes high blood pressure is menopause. Now, normal age-related hormonal declines often cause a woman's arteries to become less elastic and more constrictive, thus contributing to high blood pressure. Unfortunately, giving women synthetic hormones, you know, estrogens, and especially progesterone makes this situation only worse. Another third problem is metabolic syndrome. Now, data from a five-year national health and nutritional examination study of adults with hypertensive hypertension revealed that what causes hypertension in women is an imbalance in cholesterol levels, high blood sugar levels, and excessive abdominal fat. And these are typically associated with what's called with metabolic syndrome, which often leads to heart disease and diabetes. Now, there's another problem. Pain medication actually doubles the problem. And a report from the Harvard School of Medicine revealed that women taking painkillers such as acetaminophen, which is Tylenol and ibuprofen, such as Advil and Motrin, increase the risk for high blood pressure by almost 100%. That's double the rate. And this is because of the fluid retention and the decreased kidney function due to these drugs. So only take these drugs occasionally as needed and definitely not daily or even more than three times weekly. By the way, aspirin does not cause hypertension, but it has its own set of negative side effects. Next, our synthetic hormones actually make this worse. Synthetic hormone replacement therapy, also known as HRT, such as um, medroxyprogesterone, found in drugs um, such as progesterone and Provera, can also intensify high blood pressure by causing the blood vessels to constrict and get smaller. Additionally, an increase and progesterone causes a decrease in estrogen, which is not what you want because estrogen tends to help blood pressure in women. Ironically, high, high estrogen levels in men increases blood pressure, which is the opposite. Now, there are ways to improve this, and the five best ways for women to protect themselves from high blood pressure is, first of all, you need to manage your stress levels. And this can be said about anything. And this means sleep better, you know, journal, write down your thoughts, relax, and be more mindful of your feelings. As the saying goes, don't sweat the small stuff. You also want to lose unwanted fat, and this can be said about everything. Um, eat better, more healthy fats fish, fiber, vegetables, while decreasing carbohydrates, sugars, alcohol, and processed foods. You also want to exercise regularly. This is, can be simple. This can be just walking and lifting weights are best. Only three or four times a week is plenty. And finally, taking natural herbs and vitamins that are clinically proven to help lower blood pressure, such as hawthorn, berry, grape seed, celery seed, uh, pomegranate, and lipopene extract are great, along with uh, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and also vitamin D and D3 and B6. Remember, women really need to be careful with their blood pressure, especially if you're over the age of 40 and are premenopausal or have gone through menopause. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. 
If you liked it, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I've got really cool exclusive videos coming out soon. And if you found it helpful, please share the help with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your comments below and any questions you may have about today's topic or future ones. And most importantly, do yourself a big favor and make sure you take a look at the exclusive bonus video below about the five best foods for lowering your blood pressure and my favorite formula for lowering blood pressure naturally. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.